Hello, my name is Seppi, and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Saturday, September 2nd, 2017. What? Saturday? What is going on? What's this with this uh, crazy Saturday episode? Normally the coffee break goes live on Sunday and Wednesday. Why Saturday? Well, there is a specific reason for this super special Saturday episode. And I guess there is also a reason why the horse is not attached to the post. Ha! Huh. Guess I was a little bit exhausted after this expedition, after the expi expedition to tame a cat that I just fell into my bed and I completely forgot to close the gates and to secure the horse. So yeah, I guess this explains everything. Let's get started. Let's start this episode and let's talk about this super special Saturday episode. Normally I am recording the coffee breaks the day before the episode goes live on the YouTubes because this gives me enough time to render the episode, to upload the episode, to get the thumbnail ready, to get the description ready and yeah, to do all the things that are involved in the process of bringing you the latest news out of my life. And um, yeah, so today is a Friday. Today is a Friday, September 1st, and I'm recording this episode today because I am spending the weekend at my parents. In a couple of hours I will jump into my car and drive to Berlin, so there is a no chance for me to record this episode tomorrow. And in this case I thought, well, instead of recording it on Friday and releasing it on Sunday, I will try this Saturday approach and see if I like it or if I like to go back to the... Okay, the horse apparently is a little bit heated, overheated and needs to cool down a bit. Well, that's fine, that's completely fine. But um, yeah, I, I will just um, give it a try and see if, if I enjoy it, if I'm okay with it or if I like to go back to the normal and regular schedule of having coffee breaks on a Sunday as well as a Wednesday. But um, there might be another change next week because there might be a Thursday episode instead of a Wednesday episode. And there's also a specific reason for this and um, it's connected to this weekend in Berlin because I'm not only spending the weekend in Berlin, I'm also spending the Monday in Berlin. I have a day off from work, which is nice, and I have this because Monday is my birthday, so it's, it's nice to celebrate my birthday with my family, with my parents, and um, yeah, to relax a bit. But I think I will be quite exhausted the next day, because on Tuesday is a conference workshop, and um, yeah, this is the workshop where I submitted a paper. It's the, the paper that got accepted uh, in June or so, June, July, I don't know, but, but it got accepted. And now I need to go to this workshop, I need to attend there and um, present this, this paper. And um, yeah, this is a Tuesday, so I'm quite lucky that the place where the workshop takes place is, well, it's not directly on the way back home to my, the town where I live right now, but it's relatively close. So I can drive uh, from Berlin to the town where the conference takes place and uh, do this presentation thing. And then I can continue back home and um, I think that's that's a solid plan, that's a good plan. 
I just hope that everything works out well because I have to leave pretty early on uh, Tuesday morning and um, yeah this means getting up early and I also have to be lucky that there is no traffic jam, no craziness going on on the on the on the roads that there's not a delay or so. I mean this would be excuse me squid. Excuse me, what was this? What was this squid? All right, um, got some raw fish for the cat. This is no, 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 no. Mm. This is nice. And now, now I like to check if the if a pumpkin has grown, so that I can continue with. Yes, there's a pumpkin. This is nice to add with with adding some uh, lights to the path. And unfortunately I haven't got um, a manning book yet, so I have to keep on fishing. But yeah, so um, a conference and a birthday and so yeah, will be an interesting weekend. And uh, since I'm getting back the late Tuesday and I'm, yeah, I, I don't think that I can manage to record and upload and render and do all the the necessary stuff on um, on Wednesday so I think I will just go probably for a Thursday episode but we will see it it's uh, it's not not settled yet I, I need to see I need to see how much time I have and um, how much other craziness is going on concerning this this VR conference paper that is due on uh, Monday 11th. So yeah, there, there's a lot of work involved and probably a lot of work coming up and um, yeah, we will see, we will see. In this case, there might be a little bit of a longer break between uh, these two episodes, but I guess that's fine. That sounds completely okay. It mixes things up and um, it also provides the chance of having interesting things to talk about, which always is important. So yeah, related to this upcoming workshop, the last week not only was busy with getting this paper ready for the VR conference, I already told you that I'm already quite confident and quite happy with the results so far, so that's good, but it was also filled with the task to prepare this the, the presentation for the workshop. And um, yeah, I think the presentation is done. Of course, you always can tweak it a bit. You can always improve it a bit, but I'm quite okay. Okay, I'm also quite okay with what I have achieved here. This is nice, maybe. Maybe light here and then this way could be good. Could be good. So yeah, a lot of work, lots of work. But here, good news. I got a haircut. I got a haircut and I was quite lucky I guess because on uh, Thursday I wanted to go to the to one of the hairdressers pretty close to the place where I live where my apartment is located and um, I was already aware they close at 6 p.m. and um, as I got there it was already 5.20 or so and I asked um, is there still the chance that that you can do it and um, yeah I, I was lucky I was lucky they they said yes so we can we can still do it uh, we will make an exception for you so I was happy I was super happy and um, now my, my hair is finally a short again finally I feel a, a fresh breeze around my neck which which is good I, I really missed it it was so warm with the a little bit too long hairs and um, but yeah that, that's good that, that's really nice I'm I'm happy I'm happy with the haircut and um, you might ask why am I looking so much at the storage room I'm still considering the 
the approach of having some pistons in order to have a gate here, but I think I think there is no feasible way to make this work. Maybe I will hmm. Maybe I will just build a normal wall with a wood. What do I do with this smelting system? Okay, there is stuff in here. Why is there stuff in here? This is weird. All right, interesting. But um, yeah, maybe I will just build a normal wall instead of a, a piston thing. I really like to do something with pistons. Maybe, hmm, no. I guess the entrance to the mine is also not the, the right thing. Of course, I could do some, some piston scenario here, but Hmm. Yeah, would would be nice to to have a piston system here, but this would require me to completely redesign the the storage room. Well, it's not that the the storage room is really beautiful or nice to look at or anything, but still, it it would be nice to. Yeah, maybe because it's it's not really looking good. Maybe I should really try to come up with, with a new idea how I could do this. So I have to investigate this and um, find out what I can do in order to, to get this, this working. To add some pistons to the, the entrance, I think this could be really good. What I need to do would be to basically move this. Okay. Hi. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away. Go away. All right. Yes. And this one has a bad day now. All right. Um, yeah, I might need to move it one block to the other side because I need to have the pistons here and um, then I need a wall because the pistons should be hidden. This means I need to dig a little bit deeper into, well, do I really need to dig deeper? I don't need to have this huge opening. I can also have a smaller opening, get in there and then the room widens. This would be also a good thing. It would also make it a little bit simpler to secure the horse when I when I go on an expedition. Yeah, this, this might be a thing. But first I'd like to try something else. I really like to experiment a little bit with this uh, concrete. I, I like to find out how this concrete works. And I also like to talk about some um, other things. Some, well, there aren't many things <laughs> because, well, I, I got a question. I got a question from Frank, this is good. But before I answer this question, uh, there is has one topic that where I'm uh, confused. No, confused is uh, the, the wrong word, but uh, let, let me just ex explain uh, the scenario. So you know, we were grabbing some lunch in in the Menser. We were grabbing some lunch and um, concrete, concrete. I need, a, yes, yes, I do have sand, that's good. We were grabbing some uh, lunch and um, there was a girl. There was a girl who only, well, apparently uh, it looked like just wore a long dress shirt. So it looked like a, like a dress because it was relatively long for her and a belt. And it seemed to be, that's it. And um, yeah, I mean, one sneeze and this thing might have moved up way too high that you see things you're not supposed to see. And this entire approach is 
weird. This is very weird. Why? I, I, I mean, why? Just, just why? Why are you doing this? Why are you um, orange? Yeah, let's try a bright color. Let's let's try our orange. Why is someone doing this? I mean, this is totally orange concrete powder. Nice, 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 nice. Now I need to get this powder wet, I guess. Now I need to get this powder wet. But first, let's 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 see how how does. How does concrete powder look like? Um, horse. So um, yeah, what what's exactly going on with the with the dress code lately? Well, there there is no dress code, but um, yeah, there there were a few other examples like this. Uh, what I saw during the the hotter days. Um, on the campus. I mean, yes, I I get it. It's it's hot, and um, so you want to dress things that aren't that warm, that um, help you to to stay cool and good and comfortable. But yeah, why? I mean, um, I guess you can imagine why I was a little bit confused. Yeah, I caused a flood. Right, everything good. Why I was a little wow, this is way too bright. This is super bright. Look at this bright color. Man. Man, this this burns your retinas. <laughs> this definitely burns your retinas when you when you look at this orange. Wow. That's crazy. This is way too bright. Wow. Look at that. Hue. Okay. Uh this is probably hmm. This might be a thing for the monument valley to 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 have a different color for for the for the monuments. But wow, this this, this burns your retinas when you look at it. This is crazy. I mean, I, I guess I have to I have to get some purple or so. I think purple could be could be super cool. But this man, this is bright. This is super bright. Way too bright. Uh, maybe this is this is not so much of an option anymore to decorate something because when you look at the the normal Minecraft landscape, everything is a little bit um, relaxed, scaled back, darker, but not not bright, not not that bright. And I mean, I love bright colors, but that's a bit too bright. That's that's way too bright. But it might be interesting for. For the the monument valley to have a really bright bright monument, I think this is what really contribute to it. When we have then maybe a, a very bright 2017 up there or so, an orange or pink, purple, purple, purple would be great, I guess. I also have to try out at some point this. What's this? Uh, not sandstone. There, there's a news. Specific combi combinable material, which totally escapes my name. Um, there's a combinable material which ooh, which which creates some some structure, but I think it's also super bright. I. I hmm. I can't recall it. I have to look it up, but I'm quite sure you will also inform me about the name of this stuff in the uh, in the comment section. The comment section also can be used to submit a question or a topic. I can or should or which which would be interesting to talk about. So yeah, let let me know when uh, when you have a topic, when you have a question, just just ask it, and I will try my very best to answer it. Um, it's a little bit early to search for a new place for the next uh, monument, but I really like this and I think it will look really really cute cool over the years when we have everywhere some uh, some monuments. So that's that's cool. That's that's really nice. Yeah, back back to to the school and back to the um, female dress code in general. I mean, um, yeah. Um, yeah, 
yeah, I mean, um, I, I think you, you understand my, my questions and uh, my uh, confusion, but what exactly is this look supposed to express? I mean, you often want to express something with your with your outfit. I mean, not all the time, but often it's about let's be professional, let's be relaxed, let's be um, something. Let's 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 do some sports. Let's do things. But wearing just a dress shirt with a belt. What is this supposed? To say, I mean, yeah. Um, I, I I leave the the question up to you. Answer it, <laughs> answer it your way. But um, yeah, those those things those things things are happening, and um, yeah, they they cause some some question and also some interesting discussions so during during the lunch break. So um, yeah, this this was this was indeed a very nice lunch break, a, a very funny lunch break. And um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I will leave it with that because um, yeah, let's uh, let's let's grab some coal. I need coal. I need coal to to get some more jack or lanterns and torches and all this fun stuff. So let's get some uh, sticks. Very nice. And take our lanterns. Awesome. Alright, oh, we already have sunset. That's can I can I can I make it to I'm sure I can. I'm sure I can because then I can look down and see how the illuminated pass to the terminal of my airport looks like from the pavilion, from the pavilion in my park. So let's do this. Uh, I think I will save Frank's question for the next episode. Because, um, well, I'm quite sure I have plenty of things to talk about when I'm back from this um, extended weekend away. But um, one, two, three, four, here. One, two, three, four, here. One, two, three, four, here. Um, well, there's one last thing I can discuss <laughs> briefly, which is... Oh, um, hmm, then it's no longer hidden. And it's no longer hidden. This is really a problem. I think it wouldn't look that great. And there is a zombie guy approaching us, so let's no no. Let's just fix this problem here. And do this and that and a zombie. Hi. Alright. I think I will I will deal with this in the next episode and just go back to my uh, to my tower. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, it's um, evil guys are spawning. This is never good. I, I, I spoke about lunch and uh, normally they change their, their meals on a daily basis, which of course is nice because you don't want to eat all the time the same thing. And um, yeah, this is good. However, this week there, one, there was one particular meal based a meat based a dish and okay it, it was available the first day that's that's okay then they had the thing available the day after so yeah i thought okay this this is your usual approach you had some leftovers you prepared them and you sell them that that's fine unfortunately uh on on friday i thought hey this this seems to be a, a nice dish, so I, I grabbed it, and um, I mean, it was covered in a, in a brown sauce with some some mushrooms and so on, and some noodles. Looked good, looked really good. And as I got to the table, I found out 
Well, this exactly is the same piece of filled meat they were selling throughout the entire week. So they apparently still had some leftovers and their way to finally get it sold was, okay, let's turn it into a completely different dish, but let's use this absolutely same meat. And um, oh man, oh man, this is weird. This, this is really weird. And um, before I continue to talk about all those, those crazy things that happen, in my life, I think I will now um, come to an end. I will now come to an end and hope that you have enjoyed this very episode of the Coffee Break and that you will be joining me in the next episode. So it's nicely bright. This is good. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Eppy. See you. Thank you.